In many school buildings, bland, boring hallways are going away to make space for huge murals. That's right. One D.C.-based artist just finished up a 100-foot mural at Smothers Elementary. It's the latest in a string of projects. I spoke with him about the impact to the community. Bright, colorful, with a little whimsy. That's Luis Del Valle's work in murals and graphic designs at 14 D.C. schools, Smothers Elementary, Garrison Elementary, Cardozo Educational Center, and others. He says murals have a universal language. Murals were a tool of a source of education, and one of the things that murals do is bring a bunch of information all at one time in a way that a child can process. Del Valle's designs beat out artists nationally and internationally. He lives in Anacostia, grew up in D.C. after his family immigrated from Nicaragua when he was six. He says he doesn't just paint faces, he paints the soul. The main purpose is for the kids to see themselves in the work. I want them to really be inspired, not only by what they see, but also by the physical appearance of the children. And it really reflects them and the community around them. Before this life, Luis was once an untrained graffiti artist until a high school teacher put him on a path to make an honest living and an impact in the community. I didn't know that those skills that I was learning in the streets could translate very well into mural make making in a legal way because now I can produce these massive big works of art very fast with very much detail because of my training as a graffiti artist in the streets. Just beautiful work mm -hmm. there. Del Valle is now working on another big project for Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, and um, we need to appreciate these local yeah. artists. And he started as a graffiti artist as a teenager and wow. turned, us, very turned into this. Very, very talented. Welcome back. The Anacostia Art Center showcasing a new exhibit. It's called Love, Hope, and Art Woven Thread. We are joined now by curator Luis De Valley, Associate Creative Director Jess Randolph, and Managing Director Jeffrey Harrell. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Awesome. Good morning. Jess, got to start with you. Oh. Putting this. <laughs> <laughs> How did this all come together, and why is it so important to be having this exhibit now? Yeah, so um, I am proud to be the Associate Creative Director serving at Anacostia. Costia Arts Center. Um, part of my responsibility is putting together a curatorial calendar. I thought that, you know, Luis, he's a trailblazer and a mm -hmm. leader in our community, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a no-brainer to <laughs> invite him to come and curate a show in our space to celebrate uh, Latino and Hispanic heritage, mm -hmm. and the show was banging, so I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, what did it mean to you to be asked to do this, especially this month? Uh, it meant so much to me because it's done in my community, and we're really showing uh, people how diverse that Hispanic culture is. We have people, uh, it's like the rainbow. You have people of every color that look different, blue on hair, blue eyes. We have dark skinned people. We have, my mom is so much lighter than I am. And I have cousins that are so much darker. So the Hispanic community is just so diverse. And to be able to with Jess, um, Jeffrey, and everybody at done across the Art Center, it's just been amazing because we are all a community and we are like family. Can yeah. we ask you about this beautiful painting yes. that's behind us? It's kind, it is, it's gorgeous. Is it okay to say it's kind of a Frida Kahlo inspired? You know what? It, uh, it's Mexican. Mexican. Uh, the Mexican so tradition. Maybe that's yes, why it I'm is. And you know, Frida Kahlo is such a powerful artist um, that she inspires all of us. And this actually is uh, a celebration of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the mm. Dead. And we're looking at death not as a bad thing, but actually as something that we can embrace and celebrate. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, a lot of times when we, even with the pandemic, we had a lot of death going on with pe people that we know, people that we don't know. And sometimes we have to realize that we're all gonna face that one day and it's just a matter of how we approach it. So me, myself, as an artist, I think about death a lot, but I'm not like, oh, it's a bad thing, I'm gonna die tomorrow. It's more about it's gonna happen one day mm -hmm. and every day I have to make it count. I and that, I yeah. think it's, that's the best way to look at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that says a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Jeffrey, it's yes, been beautiful. open, the exhibit has been for a little bit. What what has the reception been like? The reception has been amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. We have, we were, uh, we participated in Art All Night 
uh, which is a wider Washington D.C. Oh, and nice. we had over <laughs> you were there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we it's had every street. It's absolutely, every street. absolutely, and we yeah. we had over 400 people visit the art wow. center. Wow. And so the art center is really uh, a community center uh, located right in the heart of Anacostia. We're uh, powered by Wakeif, which is the Washington area community investment fund. Um, and we are just so proud to be able to um, be a center uh, like that uh, in, in DC. We have retail, we have a small business incubator located there as well. And so we're just we're just thrilled uh, that, yeah. that we can be such a large part of the community. Yeah. We're seeing some more artwork mm -hmm. on, on the screen, um, everything that you all are, are showing for everybody. Um, what is it about art? Luis, I'll go to you. What is it about art that kind of brings a community together? I think the most important thing that it's an universal language. Uh, you don't have to be highly educated uh, to understand art. Art just makes you feel an emotion. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. personally, I like to focus on very bright colors and things that people can relate to and not make it so that the community can, adent can uh, c uh, connect with it. Right. So I think the most important thing is to know that um, you can go into a museum, whether you're three years old or you're 80 years old, and you're still gonna appreciate work That's of right. art, and you're gonna find something that you love. Yeah. And I think bringing this to the art center was just amazing. Oh, yeah. Jess, well done. Good pick. Yes. 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 Well yes. done. Thank you. Great show. Yes. Real quick, when does it go till? When can we see the art? Oh, uh, till mid-October, correct? Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, yeah. so you have time. Get out there and enjoy. Thank you guys for being here and yeah. bringing this beautiful piece. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank Thanks for having us.
Well, first of all, it makes me feel inspired every time I walk through these doors. Um, I'm a history nerd and I love uh, American history, African American history, Civil War history, uh, Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, uh, the history of abolition uh, from William Lloyd Garrison and Frederick Douglass on both ends and Luis perfectly captured the history of this community and what abolitionism means to um, to this community uh, all the way back from the days of Camp Barker to today. Um, you've probably heard about uh, you know what our playing field used to be which is a contraband camp where people who had liberated themselves from slavery and followed the Union Army North and settled in Washington in this community. Um, Garrison was founded a few decades later to serve the families of this community and we've done so ever since. We see our, uh, our vision and mission uh, today in 2022 to be modern day abolitionism in the, in the tradition and legacy of Frederick Douglass and our, our namesake, uh, William, William Lloyd Garrison. We're in close contact with, um, with the museum just up the block um, at Vermont and U Streets. Uh, Marquette Milton here, uh, the, the uh, inspiration for this uh, soldier is a Garrison graduate. Uh, Frank Smith, the director of the museum, uh, former DC City Council member and an inspirational leader in this community. Um, so every time I walk through these doors, I'm grateful to be part of this community and uh, the children are inspired by, by the legacy of which they are the, the latest uh, chapter. Perfect. I love